today I'm gonna try something new just because the opportunity presented itself to me. I was wondering what I'm gonna shoot next, come back and look, the good Lord provided. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm, it's gonna be my first time, but I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna cut that root out and I'm gonna take it to my sawmill and saw it up and, and see what's in it. The only problem that I see is uh, I'm in Arkansas and uh, you can see all these rocks. It's rocks after rocks after rocks here, but there is, I'll, sh I'll give you a close up and show you. There's actually rocks up in that root. I can see them. I don't know if they're up in it or just on the outskirts, but there's only one way to find out. It might cost me a blade, might cost me two, I don't know, but come hell or high water, this root's getting cut up. I guarantee you that. I got her on the trailer. I'm gonna show you some of the rocks in it though. That, that's a rock. There's one that fell out when I dropped it. Over here, look. That's a rock. There's a rock. There's a rock. There's some little rocks. But she's, she's riddled with rocks and riddled with rock. <laughs> There's a hoe, there's some rut. I mean, it's got some knots on it now. Don't get me wrong, you know, if it's something good in there, it's gonna be some wicked grain patterned figure going on. But we'll just have to cut it up and see. trim down wash as best I could get her the only thing I can hope for is not to hit a rock and I clear it but we're fixing to find out
Starting to get into a little bit of figure. I don't know if you can probably can't see them, but there's there's rocks in that hole. I gotta get them out. There's rocks. Yeah. I made it almost halfway. I replaced my blade right there when I started getting to the good stuff. A little tip, start off with your bad blades or blade about half worn out till you get through all the old junk. And then once you hit the good stuff, put your good blade on there. Get you a nice straight cut on it because that's going to be your money wood right there. The rest of that stuff's probably firewood. I made it. I had one more cut after this one, but look, you see it right there? I heard it and I was hoping I saw Lord. That sounded like something. And sure enough, I got out, but when I come back and started making the next one, it was hard to push, I could tell. And at the end, it just started bowing that blade up. So I'm gonna stop right there, man. Uh, I might save that other piece and cut it up later just to get what's left out of it. But, uh, you know, it was starting to get into some crazy stuff. I'm going to hose them off, let you look at them. Got eight of them all together. But while I show them to you, the preacher man once said, it's not quantity, it's all about quality. So I'm going to give a shout out to my 387 subscribers. I appreciate every one of you. Wouldn't trade you for all the other subscribers in the world. But anyhow, I'll be, I'm going to be honest with you about these. A lot of that wood is bad. It's soft. <laughs> There's a couple of good ones in there. And they, Joe, what the hell are you gonna do with all that? I tell you what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna give it away. I'm gonna take some paint swap meat, but I'm gonna give the rest of it away. So if you're interested and you're in the Shreveport, Bossier area close, you just let me know and I'll put you one to the side. And thanks for watching.